Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And are stubby wrenches still relevant or still a thing? Now, I'm talking about mo mostly stubby wrenches in the larger sizes. If you take a look at something like a 10, uh, is that a stubby? Or is that the stubby? There's a regular 10, according to the snap-on. Um, and then there's the, the ratcheting end. So you can see, you know, this doesn't stand out to me as a super stubby. If you look at, you know, it might be half that length, but these, to me, are fairly long wrenches. So if I look at this stubby here and compare it, well, here's the snap-on short, so it's a little bit longer, or a little bit shorter by, I don't know, by, by an, one open end. If you compare that, here's their box end. It's not that much different, their double box end. If you jump up to the standard snap-on wrench here, it's about twice the size is what we're looking at there. So maybe two times the leverage. And that's a stubby to what is actually a fairly long wrench. If you compare these to Craftsman or Icon or some others, uh, this is a longer wrench um, for a considered uh, regular size. Uh, if you jump up to the ratcheting, you can see that that's even longer here. If I throw that on there by almost another open end. And then of course there's the, the really long, this is a 1719 snap-on. Um, this is a flex head. It's not the new fancy one with the reversible lever and the extra uh, extension on, the, on um, one of the biting ends. But this actually is about, well, one, two, three, four times the length, four times the leverage. Now, when I talk about the smaller ones, you know the little guys. Um, th to me, that's you're not you're not trying to generate that much leverage. But a 19, you might be you know seriously trying some. Well, most of these I think have been displaced by sockets, because all you need is the socket, and then you can put it on whatever length of ratchet handle you want uh, to get into whatever space. So it can go. These are both 19s. Here's a 19. Look at that little tiny thing. This might be the second shortest snap on. Um, snap-on ratchet. The one without the flex head I think is a little bit shorter, but still, I mean, you fold it up and it's not much <laughs> not much bigger than the rat or than the socket. But anyway, that seems to be more the answer. But these are still made. They're still available. A lot of, whoops, a lot of companies still make stubby wrenches. Uh, you know, my philosophy might be if you think you might encounter something where you need that particular stubby, just get that one rather than a whole set because these aren't a lot cheaper than the regular snap-on wrenches. And in some cases, the stubbies can be more expensive because they're far fewer uh, sold. But anyway, you know, I'm wondering if that's more of a throwback. In the old days, uh, you used to get, um, say, wrenches, like here's a Toyota, here's a Ford Model T wrench. Um, these came with the vehicle, and the reason is that they were kind of either user serviceable parts, um, you know, or, or traditional road repairs beyond a lug nut wrench. But these were not that big. If you look at the stubby here, you know, that's, this is, a, imagine a 22. You know, so what, what am I working with? You know, that much more leverage there. If I compare it to the 19, that's about what it is. It's a short wrench, pretty much. Um, and the Model T, you know, when you look at that size, look at that. It's a stubby. That's what they gave you. So apparently you weren't doing high torque stuff. Plus, this is double-sided. Um, so is a stubby a throwback? Or is it still uh, a relevant tool that should be in every toolbox? It's an essential to have a set of them. I honestly, I use this one, but I don't don't use this one. Um, not sure I've ever used this guy. I've used some of the, the smaller, I think the 15 and the, the 13. But this is, when I need a smaller wrench, this is usually my go-to. And it works just fine. And I haven't encountered anything um, that I couldn't get it to work in. Um, but I do encounter with the long ones, you know, where you've got really limited movement because you're hitting something up here. But if you get that stubby in there, then you've got, you know, that range of motion so you can do the uh, tightening. Um, so maybe that's also why they did shorter ones. I don't know. Or you pound on them with a hammer to crank it down. But anyway, just started wondering about the, the wrench sizes. Um, what do people still buy, still use, um, still encounter a need for? Um, and do the large stubby wrenches still have relevance? And with that, dock out.